guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about staphylococcal infections of the skin. So predisposing factors include poor hygiene, um, antibiotic excessive use, testosterone, corticosteroids, diabetes, hypervitaminosis, immunocompromising conditions like AIDS, um, skin damage and injury, also alcohol abuse. Um, so the primary skin infections include folliculitis, furuncles, uh, carbuncles, staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome, impetigo, and cellulitis. Okay, so starting with folliculitis, superficial type showing papules and pustule, pustules. The deeper lesions are, are erythematous and they're nodules. You have patterned folliculitis as well in areas that were shaped or occluded. The superficial one can evolve into the deep. You have a folliculitis barbae or acutum which affects the beard and you have a deep-seated version of that which is psychosis barbae which leads to scarring and areas of permanent hair loss. So the distribution is face, scalp, thighs, axilla and the inguinal area. Clinical signs include um, the five signs of inflammation like ruba, redness, color, heat, dollar pain okay. Froncal involves the skin and the subcutaneous tissues uh, with hair follicles so you have small abscesses um, exuding purulent material from a single opening Fronculosis is a deep infection of the hair follicle which leads to the abscess with accumulation of pus and necrotic tissue distribution involves neck axillae and buttocks Carbon call is connected furuncles with several pustular openings. Uh, it can be self-limited or disseminate hematogenously. Uh, it can also cause life-threatening septicemia. Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. Bacteria produces exfoliative toxin that causes the outer layers of the skin to blister and peel off as if it has been scalded by a hot liquid. Impetigo is a type of superficial pyoderma, most common primary infection in children. It is often asymptomatic, but it can appear as erosions with crusts, which are gold and yellow in color. Um, they are usually scattered and discreet. You have something known as bullous impetigo, which are superficial blisters containing a clear yellow or slightly turbid fluid. They rupture easily and they are more common in intertriginous sites. Cellulitis can be either superficial or deep. It can be a life-threatening situation. It usually affects the lower legs. It is sometimes painful but usually presents as a red swollen area that feels hot and tender. Cellulitis and impetigo can also be caused by streptococcus pyogenes, not only staphylococcus aureus. Treatment, uh, you can have systemic, which is oxacillin or methicillin. You can even add quinolones. For local, an antiseptic cream or antibiotic solutions like fusidine. Surgical manipulations, in case of abscesses, you incise and drain them. For impetigo, local treatment with mupirocin and retopamulin can also be used. Um, that is it for this video, guys. Take care. Bye.